Welcome back, I'm Melissa Muir. In this video, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. I've partnered one more time with Halstead Bead, and this time I'm going to show you how to make two different rings out of chain. Let's jump in and take a look. For the first ring, I'm looking at using chain. Now we've got different types of chain here. Some are going to be better than others. This one is too big. So we'll put him away. So we'll put that one away and just work with these other two chains. First, I'm going to make kind of a, a template for myself using some wire. In this case, I'm using 14 gauge or 1.6 millimeter wire. And I'm going to twist it at the point of the size of ring I'm after. So about six and a half here on this particular one. Then I'm going to snip it and then straighten this back out. What this does is give me the length of the chain that I'm going to need to use. Since we're not using wire, chain is much more difficult. So now you can see I've kind of measured this out and I cut it a little bit long because I can always make it shorter, but it is harder to make it long. I'm using these tiny three millimeter outer diameter jump rings, so they're very small. And the first thing I'm going to do is just connect the two ends together. Now, if I wanted to, I could use this just as the ring itself. That would be great. Super simple, easy to do, and it's very comfortable. But we want to add a little bit more. So I'm going to position this onto my ring mandrel, and I want the top portion to be a little bit smaller than the bottom portion. Again, I'm going to take another jump ring and join the two ends together. <laughs> Sometimes easier said than done, as you can see. So what we're going to do now is lay this out on the table and I'm going to pull the chain back in and use that as my gauge this time to cut another piece. So now we're going to have a double top on our chain and just a single row on the bottom. So again, using this as the guide, and now I'm going to open each one of the jump rings and attach this just as I did before. So here we go. First end in, close that ring. Make sure that when you do uh, jump rings, you swing them open, never pull them open. It will be really difficult to get them back to being closed. So once more, open this ring and attach the next end. Okay, so now that we have this, close up that ring, and now if I put this back on, we have a double chain on top and single on the bottom. Again, super comfortable. Very lightweight, you barely even notice it's there. Let's see what happens if we add some additional to this. Now on this, I've already created another chain section with two jump rings. So I'm just going to add those jump rings into my existing jump rings. Now, you want the top, as it gets thicker, to be a little bit bigger. Otherwise, everything kind of bunches up when you try to get this ring on. Sometimes you have to roll the chain to get it onto your finger. So I have an additional jump ring just to give a little bit of extra length for that top section. So now you can see we've got four chains here on top, still just one on the bottom. Again, super comfortable, lightweight, not too big or too small. The second chain is a variation. So this time we are going to use one of these little marquee tags and because it only has one hole in it, I'm going to add an additional hole. This is an 18 gauge hole or one millimeter hole that I'm putting into this. I wanna add just a little bit of texture. Notice that I use the end of an eraser to kind of hold it into place that way I don't hit my fingers. Going to use my ring mandrel. Because it's hardened, it's hard for me to push this over with my hands, but if I bring in a nylon mallet, I can give a little bit of a curve. Once more, using my little template wire there to kind of gauge the size of this, cut my chain. Now again, I'm going to use the jump rings and we're just going to connect everything together. Slip the tag on, slip on the chain, close that jump ring by swinging it and then just simply putting on the next jump ring and one more time attaching the other end of the chain. And that's all there is to this one. However, it has a very different look. Again, nice and simple and easy to wear. And here's a look at both finished rings.